The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. Hey guys, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Had Cloud's Powers. This is part 8, so with that said, let's get into this. After what happened at the USJ, everyone in Class 1A was able to skip, skip school for at least one day to, well, let them recover for what happened to them. And as for Izuku, he was completely and utterly surprised that he took on somebody that was his strongest All Might and came out the victor. Not only that, the police did question him about hit, about him fighting against the Nomu, and see, and they thought that the Nomu was dead because of all the all the cuts and slashes, even Izuku cutting off its arm. However. They saw that it was alive, barely, but still. They were thinking that Izuku should be suspended from UA for at least a week. However, Aunt Jill and All, and All Might came up to Sekiguchi explain explaining the situation. And if it wasn't for Izuku, every, the Noma would have been would have killed more and more students. If it, and who knows how long it would take for All Might to get there. Izuku did a good thing and a good judgment call by at least immobilizing it, by beating it. As Izuku feels a little bit, well, less stressed out from the situation, he does feel a little bit bad that he almost killed someone. That he almost killed someone, even if it was, even if he didn't think that it was a person anymore. Still, he's thankful to All Might and Angeo for stepping in and vouching for him. So Uchi just lets him off with a warning to not go overboard with something like that again. And Izuku agrees. However, all he's doing is laying on his bed in his room, thinking about what's going to happen. And is also worried about Aizawa as well, until he hears a door. He hears the doorbell, and wonders who it could be, since his mom is at work and he's all alone by himself right now. He op he opens the door and sees that it's Aerith actually. Wondering on, he says, "Big sister Aerith, what are you doing here? I." Uh, she said, I have a present for you. It was actually a present from Zack I wanted to give you, but I haven't had the time to. And she says, okay, come downstairs. They leap, they go down the flight of stairs, and she also tells Izuku to close his eyes. As he says, wait, why? She tells him, just do it, please. As he does, he closes his eyes, and soon after, she tells him to open him. And there, he sees a motorcycle. As Izuku says, wait, I know this bike. This was Zack's bike, wasn't it? She tells him, yeah, he wanted me to give you this bike when you were at least old enough, or when you got into UA. And I haven't had the time to give it to you since, well, I've been working at the flower shop. So, I'm giving it to you now. I'm just glad that you're okay, though. I heard what happened at the USJ. I, if Zach was there, he would have done whatever he could to help you out, help you guys out. I, are you doing okay, Izuku? As Izuku says, yeah, I'm fine. Just a couple of broken ribs, but I'll heal up good. It, t it may take at least two days or so before I'm fully healed. As Aerith says, why don't I speed up the recovery? She lays her hand on Izuku's chest, and there she, she closes her eyes as Izuku's broken ribs began fully healing now. 
as he wonders, Whoa, hey, isn't this your quirk? As she says, yep. Arif's quirk is called Healing Wave. She's able to heal any wounds by touching somebody. She's even able to extend the reach of her healing if she had something as a rod, as a conductor for her healing for a healing wave. But this is all she can do for now. As Izuku says, thank you, big sister. I really appreciate it. As he tells him. As soon after Izuku grabbed the bike, he realized, oh crap, I don't have a motorcycle license yet. Heck, I'm not even 16 yet. I can't ride this around the city before I turn 16. As Aerith says, oops, I completely forgot that you're still 15. Sorry, Izuku. As Izuku says, don't worry about it. But, so, but hey, maybe I can make an exception. As long as I take the back roads and keep these things well, protect, well protected, I doubt anybody would mess with it. And well hidden too. I doubt anybody would mess with it, so... Thanks a lot, Aerith. I really appreciate the gift from Zack. As Aerith says, don't worry about Izuku. I know, Zack's looking down. I'm glad that I was able to give it to you at least. So, make good use of it and take take good care of it, okay? Promise me that, Izuku. As Izuku says, yes, I promise. Thank you. And hugs Aerith, and the two of them split off. The next day, Izuku went back to school while taking his while wondering if he should ride his bike just yet. He thinks to himself, nah, I don't think it's a smart idea just yet. Besides, I don't even know how to ride a bike just yet. So he just he just takes his buster sword and just runs back, runs to school. If he rode his bike, he could cut he would cut time a little bit. He may be fast, but he's not too fast. After all, Izuku arrives at the school in a ma matter of time. There, he runs into both Tifa and Ochako and Ida, as they all went to to class together. Arriving to class, everyone like Jiro and Kaminari began talking about how the reporters were talking to them and saying that they and they also fought against villains, basically making them like heroes and all that. As Jiro tells Kaminari, yeah, that's not the case. They just wanted to get coverage of us. And that's it. We're not fully pros. As Kaminari feels down hearing this. As Zidane says, hey, cheer up. I'm pretty sure we're going to get more famous. Especially with something that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Don't you guys know? As, Izu As everyone begins wondering, what are you talking about, Zidane? As they begin saying, wait, you guys don't know? Soon after, the doors open and there they see Aizawa, arm bandaged and everything. However, his eyes aren't damaged thanks to Izuku's intervention, so he's not as weak as he was. In, in like in canon. So, they're surprised that he's, that he's at least able to teach. As... Aizawa says, the old hag went a little bit overboard with healing me, but that's not going to stop me from get, from teaching you all and what you need to know. Also, I have information that you all need to hear as well. It's about the next couple of weeks or so, and you're going. the ne next week will be the UA Sports Festival, as everyone gets excited hearing this and that they're so hyped. As Aizawa uses his quirk to quiet them all down. This is the time, the UA Sports Festival. This is where you're going to be showing your stuff as, as semi-pros. Agencies will be looking for you and be wanting to, and want to be scouting you out once you graduate from UA. Here, this will be your chance to show the world what you can do. So don't hold anything back. Got it? As... Everyone says, yes, sir. And then he stares at Izuku, says, Midoriya. However, weapons are not allowed in the 
in the UA Sports Festival. So you won't be able to use your sword in this at all. So you got that. As Izuku says, okay, I can understand that, but you know I can't fight at my full potential without, without my sword. Sure, I can't fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but that's only, but that's only basics. If you want to see me at my full strength, you're gonna have, I'm gonna have to have a sword. And as Aizawa says, figure it out yourself. You're a bright kid. At any rate, do what you want. I'm, I'm heading out. As Izuku is surprised hearing this, wonders how he's going to fight without using a sword or how he's going to use a substitute. I mean, sure, he always blunted the edges of his buster sword so it won't kill anyone, but he does realize if he does go out, he could kill someone. Blunt, no sharp edges or not. Soon after, Bakugo tells him, t t you're really going to hang up over something like that? You better able to handle a giant sword like that. I think you can find something as a substitute so you don't kill anyone. As Izuku says, Kachan, are you, are you trying to encourage me to find a substitute for my sword in the sports festival? As he says, like hell, and if anything, I want you to find one so I can beat you. I'll prove that I'm better than you, than, than like in combat training. You got that, you damn nerd. As he's saying, T sure, whatever. As Tifa says, huh, I guess some things are different, but maybe that's not a bad thing. There she smiles, and that's it. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I didn't make this one as long as the others. I I wasn't completely feeling it today, so I'm sorry when I did this recording. At any rate, please leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think of this. Also, like and subscribe, which helps out my channel a lot. I really would appreciate it if you guys did that. At any rate, this is Leon Mookie, signing out. Later.